So after even more hardware drama regarding this PC9821 AS2, I'm back again with the uh, goal of making a serial mouse work with this computer. Well, I was having issues with the sound again. It was uh, cutting out of the right speaker for whatever reason, so I desoldered the off amp and chased all the all the signal traces back, desoldered a muxer, desoldered two capacitors that I installed that the signal goes through. I couldn't find anything wrong with any of the vias or traces or anything like that. And it started branching out to the point where I couldn't quite keep up with uh, where everything was going, so I put everything back and it decided it wanted to work again. So I'm guessing there might have been a bad connection there somewhere. That uh, I didn't really catch the uh, issue because I was running it with uh, the speakers next to each other, so I couldn't really hear that. The FM was cutting out of the right, right speaker, but right now it's working. So hopefully it will stay that way. It's been working for a week. So... In order to get a mouse working on this computer, uh, it has a mouse port here, but as you can see, that's a, well, you can't see that from this distance, but that is not a PS2 mouse, even though it kind of looks like it. That's a bus mouse, and uh, for whatever reason, the PC-98 used bus mice instead of serial mice, which was used more uh, frequently around here. So the difference between the serial mouse and the bus mouse is that the serial mouse has the hardware inside the mouse to communicate serially with the computer itself. So it has more hardware on board the mouse itself, while the bus mouse is basically just connecting the sensors directly to the computer board or like an expansion card or whatever and having that figure out what the mouse is actually doing in any given moment. So since that was not used very much around here, there's uh, quite a bit of a, you know, Microsoft inboard expansion cards and mice for IBM compatibles, except they weren't uh, very common. In fact, they go for like 50 bucks per, for a mouse on eBay right now. Why anybody wants to spend $50 for a mouse that they don't actually need to run on any of our computers over here, don't ask me because you could just throw a serial mouse on there for like 10 bucks and get the same result. So... It's kind of expensive to get one, so instead of getting a bus mouse, I'm going to attempt putting a, uh, a serial mouse on here. Here's a, uh, a DE9 to DB25 connector here. We can uh, plug it into the RS-232C and plug in this serial mouse, and hopefully we get some uh, good results. Spoiler, we do not, because I've already tried this. So on a side note, I have been using a CRT monitor with this, uh, and specifically it's my, my Dell here. But um, the, uh, the key combination you put in when you start the computer up actually does work. I didn't think it actually worked because it didn't really show any actual difference on any of the LCD monitors that I've run. However, when you run it on a, a CRT, the difference between the key combination graph 1 and graph 2 is very obvious because it actually does switch it into the 31 kilohertz mode from 24. And the computer is smart enough to remember which mode you were using last. It like inst or copies it into the BIOS or the CMOS memory or whatever. So if I was to just turn it on right now, although my my monitor is not warmed up, let's uh let's turn this on real quick. Since the computer remembers what mode we used last, it should boot up and show the picture. Well, it didn't show the BIOS because my CRT was warming up, and I do have Scan31 in the auto exec, so if I hit reset right now, it'll show the BIOS. Which is nice, because uh, being able to view the BIOS on a CRT is preferable. At least I suppose. So, yeah, that does actually work. This is what happens if you uh, try and run it in 31 kilohertz, uh, 24 kilohertz mode on this monitor. It will tell you the monitor is working, but it's out of the scan range of the monitor, and it will protect itself by not displaying the image. So it will result in zero monitor damage. So that's pretty cool. Uh, however, I will be using my um, capture device to uh, show what I'm doing on the computer because pointing a camera at a CRT monitor is a flickery mess, and I don't know how to fix that, especially not with my phone camera. It doesn't have enough options to sync to the, the 60 or I think it's like 56 hertz. No, it's 70 hertz. Okay, so 70 hertz that it's... Uh, displaying at. Alright, so now that I got everything hooked up and ready to go, we'll give it a, uh, well, let me make sure the volume's on so you can actually hear what's going on with the computer. We'll turn it on and, uh, yeah, I got the, uh, capture device working pretty good. I had to manually set the, uh, input resolution to 640 by 400 because it did not automatically detect it, which caused some weird scaling issues and, uh, not being able to fit on the screen. 
Ever since I did that, I got the window for it set to 640 by 400, and also uh, OBS is capturing it 640 by 400. So there should be no scaling until it hits Vegas, which should uh, make for a pretty clean image. However, I'm not sure what my my uh, my FPS value is. It should be 60. All right. So yeah, it should have a pretty good image. And this is on real hardware, of course. So anyway, we're gonna try and get this uh, mouse working, and uh, in order to do that. Well, okay, let me go back here. Uh, tools. I think it's uh, something mouse. Dude. Oh, fuck. Let me figure out what my uh, drivers are. All right. So, Q mouse. So there's a driver called Q mouse for the PC 98. Um, that Q mouse three you see is not uh, the actual name for that. That used to be Q mouse one, and Q mouse.com used to be Q mouse two. So there's two different Q mouse drivers. There's Q mouse and Q mouse two. Q mouse allows you to use serial mice. The original Q mouse did not. So I renamed Q mouse two to Q mouse. So the the way it's written in the auto exec or auto exec will uh, instead of uh, Launching the one that does not have the serial drivers, it will launch the one that does have the serial drivers. So I did rename that a little bit. So let's open up this file manager, uh, go to the text editor, and see what the auto exec file has on it. Of course, we have our cool background because it would be a PC98 with the yachty like image or based image without a cool background. Um, I'm not in the right folder. So here's the uh, standard environment variables. Oh, we're not gonna mess with that. We got scan 31 built in here. Blah blah blah. Here's Q mouse drivers. I was messing with it. So it was written wrong in here. Uh, it's supposed to be Q mouse two that has this uh, B uh, switch that allows serial mice. But anyway, I fixed that by renaming it. So we're gonna turn that off. I do have my mouse uh, plugged in. We're gonna save and quit and restart the computer. So now I should have a mouse, but this will provide for some interesting results. Because I've already played around with this a little bit. So in this uh, file manager, I should have a mouse. Here we go. I do have a mouse. That's cool. I can click on things. I can like launch the, uh, the audio drivers for... You launch the audio drivers for your oral pleasure here and uh, whatever. So let's just uh, unload them. We don't need those anymore. But the real question is, what does this mouse driver work for? And uh, as you can see, it works for this file manager. I'm not sure. So this file manager you see in most of the uh, the um, PC98 sort of videos. I don't, I don't think this supports the mouse. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure if the uh, graphical mode supports the mouse because it's not working here either. But considering that the uh, serial mouse driver is a little bit flaky with uh, certain things, um, you'll see what I mean. I'm, I can't make any uh, definitive statements on whether it does work with that or not. Let's try Cruiser 2. This is one of my already tried it on, so I already know what to expect. So if we type uh, the uh, the way you start this game is that it has a batch file called explanation start. However, we're not going to do that. We're just going to type it out. Oop. In there we have a mouse driver. Ma M or mouse DRV here. So this game has its own mouse driver. And um, obviously it does not expect a serial mouse. It's expecting a bus mouse. So what I did is I made a uh, another... Oh, let's type this out made another start batch file just called start.bat and I removed the mouse driver from it so we're gonna try that and just use this uh, key mouse driver instead so we do have a mouse except it goes away so the mouse is working except the cursor just disappeared Although, I'm not really a big fan of how this controls with the uh, mouse. But this is a really cool game. I played this for a couple hours. So yeah, it's uh, 
It works, but not really. Let me move the mouse around here a little bit. Gotta figure out where it is. Yeah, not quite, not quite working. So there's partial compatibility with this game, I suppose. We got primal space. Which has some uh, interesting effects. All right, keyboard. Where's all my keys at? So let's uh, type the go.bat. It does have a mouse driver, an FF mouse. So I made goer.bat. So <laughs> that one does not have the mouse. So we're gonna do goer. This game has some pretty cool graphics to it. Very spacey for a space game. Look at all the stars. Alright, let's get this. Oh cool, we have a cursor. What does it do? Oh no. This will give you flashbacks to uh, Windows XP. Except a little bit more blanky. So it's not very happy. It's uh, very not. So there's like two mice on the screen. That's interesting. But it's causing a lot of problems. I think uh, maybe the key mouse driver tries to initiate something with the uh, Windows accelerator. That's why there's like two mice being drawn on the screen, one for the, uh, the graphics plane and one for the you know, overlaid shit. So that's not working so well. Let's try it with the uh, mouse driver that's built in. They'll probably conflict, but whatever. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. And since it thinks it has a mouse, I think I can't use the keys to control the mouse. Actually, I'm not sure if I can even do that on that game anyway. Let's try SimCity 2000. Um, this one launches from an ex uh, executable, so it works a little bit differently. I can't see if it has any uh, built-in uh, mouse driver, but I'm guessing it goes into that drivers.arc file there. And of course, it does absolutely nothing. And I can also say for Simant, it also does nothing. So none of these uh, ports of uh, Maxis games will work with this driver. In fact, I don't think there's any game that actually works 100% with this thing anyway. Let's try it in the old school DOS shell. I know that the uh, IBM compatibles can use mice in DOS shell. And no, I can't move the mouse. Okay. Well, at least from my limited testing here, I can uh, I can confidently say using a serial mouse is not recommended for a PC ninety eight. Although it will work in some very very edge case edge case situations, it will not work with most games, and most notably, it will not work with your video games, which you are probably playing on this computer. And. Uh, the controls are different on this program. Alright, well, that was my failed attempt to use a serial mouse. Apparently, this game does not play nice with the mouse driver either. That's nice. So not only does it not work, it uh, breaks other games for having uh, mouse drivers in memory. Cool. This is definitely not the way you want to go. There we go, some good music.